friends pradeep pandyala today i am going to talk about one of the very important catecholamine i am sure you know adrenaline epinephrine and dopamine these are the catecholamines ain't it adrenaline also known as epinephrine is a hormone and uh, it's involved in regulating uh visceral functions and i'm sure you know that it's produced by adrenal adrenal glands and uh, also from neurons and medulla oblongata it plays a very very important role in fight or flight response i'm sure you have heard this phrase fly, fight and flight response by increasing blood flow to the concerned muscles cardiac output and simulating the sa node it causes the pupillary dilatation and also increases the blood sugar level does this by binding to alpha and beta receptors i'm going to tell you in detail a little later and uh, it was first isolated by a polish physiologist napoleon sibulski okay now i'll make it a bit more interesting i'm sure it is you know that it is dose dependent when you give epinephrine it increases the heart rate systolic blood pressure and stroke volume and cardiac output and also it increases the lactic acid level and glucose concentration typically the dose is around 2 to 10 microgram per minute when you are giving in icu okay now uh, shall we know a little bo- more about its uses uses sorry uh, it's definitely used in allergic reaction anaphylaxis cardiac arrest You, you will can never forget it the most important drug in cardiac arrest and also anaphylaxis most important drug okay and uh, i'm sure you know certain things which are how it is going to act let me talk something more about adrenaline and um, how it normally works now medical uses as i said anaphylaxis and cardiac arrest and besides that in croup it really works very well inhaled adrenaline may be used to improve the symptoms of croup may also be used in asthma when other treatments are not effective usually when intravenously it can be given im also and subcutaneously also common side effects abnormal heart rhythm anxiety can cause tachycardia and increase in blood pressure well the safety of its use uh, during pregnancy and breastfeeding is not very clear so better be careful when you are dealing with it in a lady breastfeeding or during pregnancy and uh, as i have said adrenal adrenal medulla is the contributor to the circulating catecholamines and uh, 90% of circulating ad- adrenaline comes from adrenal medulla little adrenaline is also found in other tissues like the uh, scattered chroma fin cells and small number of neurons and uh, um neurons which use adrenaline as neurotransmitters okay now what happens if a person has adrenalectomy removal of adrenaline um adrenal gland okay what happens adrenaline disappears below the deduction in limits in the blood streams pharmacological doses of adrenaline stimulates alpha 1 alpha 2 
beta 1, beta 2 and B3 adrenoreceptors of sympathetic nervous system. Okay, the if you want to know a little deeper the concept of adrenal medulla and the sympathetic nerve system which is involved in flight, fight and fright response was originally proposed by Walter Bradford Cannon. Interestingly, adrenal medulla in contrast to the adrenal cortex is not required for survival. How? In adrenalectomized patients, hemodynamic and metabolic responses to stimuli such as hypoglycemia and exercise remain normal. This is very, very briefly about the most important drug. This is just to increase your inquisitiveness and interest about the drugs. Most useful, most important drug that is adrenaline or epinephrine. Thanks for patient listening. This is Colonel Pradeep Pindiala, Professor of Anesthesiology at Ashram Medical College, Eluru City of Andhra Pradesh, India. In advance, uh, happy Vinayaka Chaturthi in advance. That's tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.